Oh, I can give myself those buttons. What kind of buttons? I assume that these mean things. I just don't know what yet. I'm going to assume that the color buttons, green, blue, and red, stand for, like, the monster's health, but you just don't give us the exact number, you just kind of say how weak it is. Exactly. Okay. See, I don't need an insight proficiency. I just got enough of it right here. Change your name, uh, change your profile picture for the, your page, did you? Sitting there trying to look up your fucking page and it won't. If I know that you only got 48 likes, I thought you had more than that. What's dinner between supper and dinner? Uh, supper normally normally happens towards the uh, late evening, where supper is uh, normally after dark. I can't find your fucking page. God damn it. Uh, give me a sec. Gonna set up some stuff. Yeah, I, I'm trying to do a Facebook post. I hate doing them, but. There we go. All three works. All right. There we go. Yeah, it's the best I could actually spell. All right. Uh, this is just me. This is this is how I feel inside. Okay. My token. Gary the snail. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, that is posted and it automatically posts on my Twitter. So, yay. Who is, who is this Rakir Boson? Is this the is this the bad guy we're fighting? Um, no. As far as I know, none of them actually have names yet, so... <clears throat> All right. Let me pause that just for do do do. Drop that and then drop that down. All righty. We are playing the Dragon Prince. 
It was a four hour adventure for first level characters. Last time I played this, it did not take no four fucking hours. It took more like 16 and we only got halfway through. I don't know why. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. damn. Yeah. Um. The dragon, dragon that you are to be hunting down is named Carthrax. He's a red dragon wormling that has grown to be quite ambitious and seeks to expand the size of his treasure hoard. To do so, he decided to lure a few adventurers into his lair in order to kill them and add their equipment to his treasure trove. Being the cover, uh, cunning creature that he is, he plots to attack the small village near his lair to catch the interest of any nearby adventurers, and then lead them, uh, lead them a trail to his lair where he can then slay them. Being a prideful creature, Carthax employs minions to do the work he feels that he cannot be bothered. Uh, to do. He's current, uh, he currently has a band of kobolds in his employment who he controls through fear. He does, however, have a right hand man and Pijax, the leader of the kobolds. After attacking the village of Foxdale, Car uh, Cathrax instructs Pijax to ensure that any adventurer seeking him may be able to lead him to the dragon's lair, preferably weakened. And that's where, uh, where I move off screen and start reading. Uh, so hold on, you said that there was another guy hunting this uh, dragon? Is that right? Uh, right hand man. Uh, for Carthax. His name is Pajax. P Y J K. He is. Is he gonna assist us in any way? No. You want to kill him. Oh, we're trying to kill him. Okay, my bad. Okay. You want to kill Carth Carthrax, and you also want to kill Pajax. He's the, he's the boss guy. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Car page. Carthrax is the big dragon, big bad guy. He's BBEG. Okay, cool. And then Pajax is his underling, right hand man, leader of the Kobolds. Alright. The small village of Foxdale has sent couriers to relay a message. The settlement has fallen prey to an attack by a fearsome red dragon wormling. They plead for any strong enough to slay the dragon, uh, come and help Foxdale in his time of need. You all assemble to fulfill this singular task, whether uh, motiva motivated be for justice or for profit. It will not be an easy task, though, especially for your band of wet-behind-the-ears adventurers like yourselves. You will need skill. Cunning and just a bit of luck to succeed in the trials of ahead. Uh, at present, you find yourself <laughs> trekking down the cobblestone path towards Foxdale. You had nothing but the odd tavern to break up the monotony of travel, but you know that the village is only another mile up the road. And yes. Uh, at which point I would ask both of you to make introductions of your characters. Oh, oh, time for me. Uh, um, I am a rock gnome paladin. Hold on, let me bring up my... Do you want me to just read off my uh, character sheet? You can do that, or you can do it from memory and put a little lavish on it <laughs> um i haven't thought too much about my background but generally what happened was my uh 
my both my parents died in my whole village in like a goblin massacre or I might make that different later and um cuz I also like to lie about my past well actually no I can't do that I'm a paladin right mm. okay um so basically I became a paladin because uh, I placed a bet on hit or it, like we we bet each other we gambled is that okay yeah, a paladin to gamble yeah or would you think they're sins okay okay cool and um, I ended up winning the bet in the condition of the bet was that he had to train me to be first level paladin and if I could succeed in the training which I have and um i personality traits are i have terrible taste in music and would you be okay if i said that i pretend i know things and i don't mean in this sense to like lie about things but it's more like i miss information uh, uh, uh that's a good gnome you're fine with that I can do that? Okay, sweet. Um, I mean, uh, of course it probably all is, because you've, you've read all this, I mm. think. But, uh, I think that uh, people should follow their destiny, and I feel like my destiny is to be uh, a paladin, or to continue my uh, night training so far. And um, my bonds are that I have a very special um, item in my inventory that means a lot to me. It's my dead adopted mom's uh, brassiere, and it's the last thing that I have to remember her by, and I carry it with me always. And um, she died in a horrible like tragedy that like eviscerated everything on her except her bra I carry that around in her memory and it's actually that I used to win the bet because oh I was also thinking about adding this that I that I bet the paladin that I could seduce a woman and the woman was my mother and the woman gave me her bra as proof yeah, that's, that's a little bit of a stretch, though. <laughs> hey, man. It's my adopted mom. She's a human. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I, I just wanted, like, a little bit of deceit and trickery. Like, not a typical person. But, um, that's basically my character. Okay. Okay. I'm Cherry. I play uh, play a homebrew race called Gatos. Uh, they are small bipedal bipedal cats or smaller of similar size to normal cats. Oh God! Hold on. Let me actually zoom in here because okay, fuck me that. Uh, Covered in black fur and a scar across her eye, she seeks the dragon who burnt her uh, town to ashes. She is now seeking revenge against all chromatic dragons, seeking to slay them all. Once a smith of a small town, now the hater in rage and in her heart, she now hunts for the dragon with her family's Pan flew and her silver smithing hammer, which is the only thing left to remember her town. So, there, there's Cherry. A pan flew? Is that what? And yeah. is there something else? I do believe that there was a loot as well, but that's spoiling. Yeah, I thought I missed something. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah. Uh, 
you guys are actually making your way through uh, navigating and taking the main road all the way to Foxdale. Uh, at which point, I would like both of you to make a perception roll, please. Uh, what is that? Is that a it should be D6? D10? It should just be a D20, 20. and you have a plus two modifier to it, so... Okay, uh, I'm normal. clicking the D20 button. Uh, the first one will do. Uh, you got a 15 plus 2, so that's more than enough. Oh, it's in the chat. My bad. Yeah, My bad. Uh, and Cherry, you got a 7 on perception. You do not see. The Paladin Rock Gnome uh, is uh, actually able to spy the four cobalt hiding behind trees. Uh, up at the next bend, uh, at which, at this point, hey, what look, would you like to there's, do? there's some dudes over there, and they got sharp sticks and stuff. I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, are we going to uh, move forward? I guess that's the only thing to do. Yes, and you have free action as your characters. It's literally just a drag oh, and move. Um, do keep in mind that your character has a movement of 25, and I do believe Cherry has a movement of 25 as well. Yes. Okay. Um, Pretty, pretty much the way I've been going is I've learned D&D, one square, one movement. Or, uh, for uh, one, one square, it's five movements, so keep that in mind. So. Okay, so, okay, that's sweet. So, yeah, through, through the distance, you're able moving. to see... Moving. I'm like, oh man. Can I see what they have? Do they have, like, uh, swords or shields or something? Okay. Uh, you see that they have... I do have a spy class. Yeah. I assume that's why you ha got so good of the... So good of a perception with that. Uh, you can tell that they are wearing uh, loincloths. They have a dagger and a sling. Daggers and slings. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, you can and I begin to play music. Okay, sweet. Uh, I get my pan flu and ready. Uh, I'm gonna to the point where we can roll initiative. So wherever that is. Okay, that would be on your character sheet, is the middle button in the center. Okay, character sheet. In the middle button. Mm -hmm. What does the button look like? It just says initiative, it's right next to your armor class and speed. Okay, sweet. What do I do? Hit the button? Yep, and just click initiative. Okay, 14, and... Cherry sure got a 14, you got a 13. Alright. So, uh... Give me a second, let's head all this out. 14. Mm -hmm. 
So this one goes on three. This one goes on fifteen. It goes on seventeen, and the other one goes on nineteen. So sending. All right. First one's gonna go first. Uh, when the cobalt is going to go first, it's seeing on how you. Hold on, the three below start taking damage already. Alright, roll your flat damage, please. Okay, uh, that would be a D8, right? Mm, that would be for charity. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, that's normal damage. Alright, 22 damage. Alright. Congratulations. Oh awesome. my goodness. 22 damage. Nice. Yeah. There's that one. There's that one. And there's that one. Alright. First three are dead. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to get to the big bad guy. Yeah. Uh, at which point uh, is your turn, Black Cat? What would you like to do? I play no. You play your song one, which is Court Madly. That is uh, plus two to allies AC, and then minus one to enemies AC. Attack modifiers plus two to allies attack, minus one to Enemies attack, and characters become fragile and heal allies for a d4. Okay. I will take that note. Alright. Okay, I will take that note as well. Okay, it will be force. And... I do believe the only thing that you have left now is movement. Yeah, because he's way out of your range, so. Technically, those. Actually, he's fine.
And that just depends where I head it. All right. Okay, that's all you're going to do. Okay, that one's covered, and that one goes. Never mind. Okay, mm. you're good for that. And uh, Oma Grundy, your turn. What would you like to do? You have 25 movement, uh, you can swing your sword. You can tell that the three at the bottom are dead. And, uh, um, hold on. Where's my... I know what I'm gonna do, but what I need to know is my modifiers. And I, it, is my strength a to hit modifier? It is, or, with your longsword. Okay. Uh, like I said, What about my javelin? Okay, that is based off your... Oh, death. I got... Okay, I see it. I got a plus three on it. Okay. Mm-hmm. So all you would, that you would and have to do is just click on Javelin. What is my modifier that uh, she gave me, that uh, Ar Ariana? Okay. It is, um, it is a plus two. Okay, so and, that's plus five. Yep. And then you would roll a d20. Okay, a 16 would hit. Nice, and does she give me a uh, modifier to damage? Uh, 1d6 force. Uh, I will say this though, uh, at your current position, uh, you are at disadvantage. So, I need you My to roll. roll. I didn't. Yeah. Uh, My bad. I didn't do that. It's all good. I need you to roll your one d twenty plus five again. Yeah. A fourteen still hits. You actually hit. Uh, <laughs> your <laughs> damage total is eight altogether. I do a D8. No, I do a D6 for the the damage. And what's the modifier? You said 8? Uh, no. That's why I was saying it's total damage. It's a D6 plus 1 piercing. Uh, so, chat, uh, that's, that's 1D, uh, 1 D6. 1D6 plus 1 is 3, and plus a D6 for force. Does a total of nine damage, and it dies with a javelin sticking out of it. So the modifier is nine. No, the modifier is uh, it's a D six plus one. One being. Did she modifier. give me a modifier? She did. She oh, gave she gave you me a one D six force. Yeah, okay. There it is. Hey, it's nine. <laughs> we should have just... That's yeah. funny. Uh, and it is still dead. It dies. Uh, so what would you like to do now? Oh, uh, nice. Give us that modifier. Yeah, you yeah. Probably would have got, gotten them. Yeah. Uh, but basically, if you click on your javelin, normal, this is what it would normally pop up as. She can loot the bodies. If I was not you, interested I'd go pick in their up your javelin. Oh yes, I do want my javelin. But you have a thirty sixty range, uh, pretty much uh, under well. 29 and under, you get advantage. 30 to 59 is normal, and anything past 60 is a disadvantage. Uh, 
you won't find much on the what bodies uh, between all of it. You only find four daggers and a few rocks and flints. And what was your question? On, you answered. Okay. No gold. Uh, hold on. Uh, you find five copper, two silver, and one gold. Hello. Yes. Oh, sweet. After your encounter with the kobolds, uh, it is eventless walk until you make make it to the gates of the city. The gates stand wide open, but a pair of sentries stand vigil outside. What would you like to do? Hmm. Uh, I'm not gonna approach him. Uh, I'm gonna talk to. Uh, Ariana and say those guys are probably going to try and hold us up for money. So, is there something you want to do about that or are you prepared to pay? Because I can pay. Or, well, I expect you to pay for yourself, but I can pay for myself. I already gave you starting gold, so. Yeah. Everybody has. I didn't know if she had like a charm person that she wanted to use, or uh, if if we were just gonna walk into that. But let's uh, let's go ahead then. Okay. Because I just don't know her abilities or something. I want to get on the same page, you know. I think a bard can throw a charm person every now and then. Yes, but she's not a bard. She's a musician. She's better than a bard. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, I use my cat eyes and say, we are here to answer for the dragon. Uh... Uh, at which point, uh, one of the guards says, Ah, uh, you must be here about the letter that we sent out. Yes. And he will actually lead you to uh, the town leader. Anisus Eleanor. At which point I will take you to... <laughs> You can add a great map by the map. Uh, there we go. Uh, see. Oh, there. Yep. You know, I actually. I like fucking setting in. To show the fucking nameplates, and it never does. Um, at which point, the town guard will leave you, uh, actually, uh, take you to go see one of the town mayors. Uh, at which point, he will take you over here. Um, uh, as you go through the village, the village is dotted, dotted with small thatched homes and is connected with a worn dirt road and somewhat small manor resting on its highest hill. It looks like a perfectly norm village, except for the except from the torn smoking banisters on the manor, uh, scorch marks on the city walls. Uh, Foxdale is a dainty uh, village with a population by a thousand people. Majority of the people are human, 
uh, also a handful are dwarves and elves also call the city home. Uh, at, w at which point, when you enter the uh, town hall and the mayor greets you, uh, Anisus, uh, or I should say, would you prefer to go get a drink? Mm, definitely. Definitely. I am parched from a long day of killing uh, those... No, because goblins, yeah. kobolds. Yeah, I I didn't find a map, so I you know she was gonna lead you down to one of the taverns because that I actually have a map for. Um, the tavern. Or is it on this map, though? Is it, like, to the north part of the map? No. Oh, I see. Okay. You refuse the drink. All right. Um... Can I drink ale? I mean, I think Glitter Gold definitely drinks from here, or er, from time to time. She had a stupid fucking thing and I can't find it. Um, she she is a human, uh, noble, uh, the mayor's, uh, the village current mayor. Um, she had a fucking side quest thing and I can't find it. Uh, oh well. So I ain't gonna give it to you, uh, but she she will uh, tell you a little bit about um, about the town uh, and the inn and a little bit more. Uh, pretty pretty much. Um, ah, here it is. Uh, when the uh, when the town mayor. A nice is, uh, here's adventurers have come to town, which you're in the town hall, and she just offered you a drink. She, uh, uh, after pouring you a glass of, of, uh, some, some nice brandy, uh, I feel iffy about the offer and potentially decline. Sorry, Mayor, though, I thank you for the offer. It was a little early for me, and I give him sweet smile. Oh, that's cute. Um, after handing uh, Orm Gandhi, I'm gonna pronounce your name wrong three different times. Orm Gandhi. Orm Gandhi. Cause, uh, cause at my own table, I have a player who has a character named Ormch, so you know, O names. Um, <laughs> She is. She is. She will say, uh, "I'm giving." Sorry, she offers you uh, one hundred gold pieces to defeat the red dragon that has been plaguing the village. Uh, mm -hmm. The town. One hundred gold pieces. Yes. Oh, do you have anything more to say? Go on. Uh, she also tells you that the town scout, Jonah, uh, is able to provide them with the location of the camp of kobolds working for the dragon. And, uh, mm. you actually need the town priest here in a little bit. So, Meet uh, the town priest. Okay. Yes. Uh, I will do that. Yes. Um, um so go she, ahead, go ahead. So she uh, tells you that she's willing to pay you a hundred gold for the head of the red dragon, so it no longer plagues the town anymore. Okay, so uh, before accepting the quest, I'm going to say, can uh, she tell me 
anything more about the Red Dragon. Exactly. He's an asshole. He's, he's Does he breathe town. fire? Okay, he, he breathes does. fire. Um. Yeah, bargain for more gold. I bargain for more gold and request an upfront payment. Go ahead and roll your uh, deception check with advantage. You, you could also do per, uh, persuasion as well. But at, le at least deception that you would. Okay. She, she looks to you and uh, says, and how much more would you be needing instead? of the base hundred gold. I'm gonna, uh, I'm not talking to, uh, her, I'm talking to Adriana. Uh, like, healing potions is always my go-to. That's always what I am interested in, but if you have anything in particular, like magical weapons or something, go ahead. A question back, well, how deep? Mm. Well, it is pretty Maybe. deep. I'm willing to put it all up. I got I got 160 gold if you gave me all of that uh, and didn't deduct anything from my inventory, uh, Mr. DM. But... You know, other than that, uh, I'll I'll throw. Yeah, I, I'm willing to double down at all. It's to the mayor. Um, oh, I thought you meant like how mu how much I'm am I willing to spend? The mayor looks at you and says, "Can you guarantee his beheadedness?" I, I look over to her without saying a word, and I just nod once, and then stare right back at the mayor. Seem like badasses. <laughs> My three foot tall self. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're. Oh. I, I'm kind of intrigued on what Cherries is gonna say on this. Uh, but yes. I say that we have full confidence that we can to the mayor. I, after looking at my comrade nod, 
if you fear that we that we cannot take you can choose not to pay us, but if we did but but if we did we shall pass twenty percent of each month taxes to us. Oh jeez, okay. Ooh. <laughs> That's a hard bargain. <laughs> oh. And I will go. <sighs> so five hundred is the mayor looks up both both you says five hundred gold up front. Sounds good to you. Because there ain't no way in hell you're getting 20% of our taxes, and she says with a dead man's <laughs> face. <laughs> that was the boldest thing. <laughs> no, you want to talk about bold, literally one of my... Uh, matter of fact, it was my brother's character that ad asked the cleric for the fucking deed to a whole valley. <laughs> so now that's bold. <laughs> no, uh, no, no words in my character. <laughs> audacity. No words in my character. Uh, actually went shopping and asked a high level mage to gift wrap an item. I paid him. But yeah, uh, it's fine. We just need a small portion of the total sum. If we fail, you won't need to pay us. Well, that is true. But you know, we we may be a little harbor town, but we don't have much of industry wise. Most of our income comes through shipping. Um. Although 20% on taxes, I would have to raise taxes just to pay you for about two years. So, 500 gold <laughs> up front, <laughs> she says again. Take it. That's my vote. I mean, do what you want. I would rather all the gold up front. Okay, well. So 200, 250 gold each. I could do that. Up front, and then you get the other 250 gold when you come back with the head of the red dragon. Cool. Okay. She re reaches into her desk and pulls out a little little um, little notepad, scribbles a note on it, then ha hands it to uh, Ariana and says, "Take this to my clerk, and he will pay you." I'm assuming that you take it. And she she leads you out of the office, and you take it to the clerk, and he takes the note, and he pull pulls out a uh, medium sized sack, uh, starts counting gold coins. It takes about a half an hour, and all said and done, you have two hundred and fifty gold pieces each. He asks you to sign a slip. Sign. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, um,
Yeah. It, it, yes, he's that's exactly what I mean. One coin, one coin, one coin, one coin. So yeah, uh, it's gonna take you a little bit. So yeah, um, pretty pretty much by the time you get done, you are able to roam around the city. Um, I'm going to go to a potion shop. Okay. I would probably be over by the church. So, yeah. Oh, yes, we do need to go to the church, too. But, uh, potions first. How much is a, uh, healing potion? A uh, dude. Uh, or do that. You see an old elderly woman uh, stand behind the counter. Her nose barely reaches the the top of the counter. All you see is these big old pair of uh, Coke bottle glasses. She says, yes, what can I do, you see? It's funny because I walk up and my nose barely reaches over the counter and... I say, yes, hello, how much is a uh, healing potion around here? She, she says, healing potions? What you need healing potions for? Who's sick? Uh, we are, uh, oh, do, do we tell her about this quest? Oh, wait, we probably should, because she might give us a discount. Okay, um, I'm gonna tell her that, uh, we're here to, we, we've heard that there's been a dragon problem, and we've been summoned, uh, to deal with it, and we are adventurers of the highest caliber. She just looks at you plainly, it's like, like, I haven't heard that <laughs> line before, uh, have you been conscripted to, uh, have you seen the mayor yet? And yes, and <laughs> I am, I, I beg you to notice that we are not just some simple swords, but that I am a, uh, knight of very noble birth, assuredly, and, um... I would just want that to be known. But anyways, how much is a healing potion? Because that's really what I was asking for. She, she, she looks you from top, the bottom of your nose and top of your, top, <laughs> top of your head. My like, three foot self. <laughs> yeah. uh, 25 gold pieces for one. Yes, that's, uh, I assume that's of the smallest, um, uh, grade, yes. She, she says, no, 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 what are you talking about? <laughs> I, I only make the best healing potion. I had, you know, I have the goods imported, you know, I only make the best healing potions. Straight from Baba Yaga. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That is a fucking old school fucking module. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um. Yes, uh, you can make the deception check, though. Um, she says 25 Ooh, gold pieces for this. the finest. Uh, <laughs> healing the most alluring. <laughs> yes. I'm actually right next to her, helping her sell this to my <laughs> to, to Ariana. Okay. Um. Yeah, uh, I'm a Grundy. I need you to make a charisma roll. 
Oh, am I actually convincing my uh, partner right now? No. Oh, okay. Am I convincing the other person? Oh, okay. Charisma roll. What is that? That let's see my modifier for that. That is. Do I have a four? Because I have a persuasion uh, proficiency. So you can so roll that's that a... as well. You could just click on persuasion, and it will do all the math. Oh, okay. Where's persuasion at? Oh, yes, yes. That's in my character sheet. Um, persuasion, persuasion. Where is it at? Oh, is that it? Persuasion, wisdom. No, no, no. Pass. No, that's not it. I'm a green horn. Oh, there it is. I got it. Normal roll? Yep. Or do I have it? Advent. Okay. Yes. I'm going to take mine instead. Because <laughs> I rolled it for you. Um, but yeah. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> she says, I like you. You're short. And you got the big nose. <laughs> I like a man with a big nose. Yeah. <laughs> uh, th thank you so. Oh, this, this is so nice. I met a new friend today. So I, have I like you, I like you too. <laughs> short, You're short too. <laughs> yes. So she says. So how many potions would you like? Okay. So um, let's do the. Uh... Oh no! Let's do. Two uh low grade potions for right now. Uh you you, and, uh, you 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 want some street peddlers fucking garbage whiskey? No 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 I want like uh, uh you know what I'll, I'll let her choose let let the uh the clerk give me a fine healing potion but just one. Gonna fucking potion. All right. Yes. She reaches on un under the uh, under the counter and pulls out a uh, a glass bottle and says, "Here, I like you. Give me fifty. And I will say bigger. I will say bigger. Bigger. You want the glass bottle? To be bigger. bigger? You, need, you know." But the glass bottle. A bottle. I want a, a bigger one. Um. No, I'm just buying an unnecessarily big healing potion. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I I I'm, I'm trying to figure out. It's like. Ooh. Um. Just give, me like, uh, just give me whatever the tiers are, like tier one being the bottom. Give me like tier three. Unless there's like four tiers, give me tier two. I don't know, like halfway. Okay. Well, Most yeah, of... she says. Well, since you don't want this one, she slides it under the counter and pulls out a, a little slightly bigger, uh, glass flask. And uh, okay, I'm gonna say no to dilute the potion. That's fun. That's fun. She's like, um... she's like, I like you. Twenty gold. <laughs> Yes, he is. I'm pretty great. Uh, so, like, other potions that we might want. Um, a potion of invisibility, maybe? I don't know. What What are some... Well, forget it. That's something that I should just look up in the pH. <laughs> and not spend, like, two or three hours talking about it with you. Yeah. Uh, you, you see her... I was like... Potions of visibility. 
she just looks at you and your chain chain mail and is like yeah you, you you're gonna want a fucking scroll of fucking silence my dear Ooh, yes if you have one of those i do hate the magic people <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, but not like the, I'm talking about like the bad guy magic people. Not, not you. You're you're one of the good ones. You sing songs and stuff. Uh, I'm sorry. Just yeah, it, yeah. But it, you. Oh, is it around me? Yeah. If you were to read the oh, scroll and cast it I on yourself, okay, it would be on. I can't you. like place. Okay, I thought I had like a, a range placement on it. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, no, never mind. Because you're you trying to it, trick me into that. Trying to trick me into that one. <laughs> see, you could cast it on an item such as chainmail to have the chainmail be silent, such as like plate mail. Because you ever seen a guy in a suit of armor not be quiet? Yeah. Now, Ooh, that's because... actually a yeah. That's a good idea, uh, but that would probably cost me more money to get an enchantment. Could I do that myself? Mm, not for a little while. Probably expire, right? Mm. No, I'm not interested in that. Um, and I don't really want a potion of invisibility either. Uh. I was just kind of throwing out some, um, but if I can't, I mean, if uh, Adriana can't think of anything off the top of her head as for potions that could be, um, then I'd say we should move on. Okay. Oh, she's not in the potion shop. Okay. Well, you can be, but... The clerk oh boy! So he, he to go to the the um the the lady behind the potions desk, and I'm gonna say, you know, I I've got this uh lady, um, and I was thinking about her, but I about getting her a gift, but I just think I need some help. Uh, is there any potions for? like magic people for people that like to or um like music people musicians and stuff like that to make them like louder or uh i don't know she looks at you tilts her head it's like what <laughs> You know, she likes to, oh, you got a potion of speed, maybe. A potion of, like, so, so she can play faster. I'm sure that there's a scroll of haste somewhere. It doesn't work like that? Okay. Alright. Yeah. Mm, what if, um, in this game, if can I get, like, a... a reviving a scroll of like restoration or something like that if someone dies or should i not like do that unless i need to do that i, I honestly no i i'm not okay it. you die you die that's literally the this is gonna be one of those you die you die yeah i'm still death one saving, i've never played it, it. you know death saving so, throws should you fail you die it's gonna be one of those types of um, games. Okay, okay. So Yeah, no, I think that's uh I think I I'm done here. Um I'm gonna ask her if she can give me directions to a uh a, a, a nice place in town. She says Everybody loves the Bristled Boar. The Bristled Boar Tavern. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to head over there right now. Location. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, that would be helpful to know, but I'm going to learn that at the, the tavern. I'm done talking to the potion lady. She's like, when you come back with that big old dragon head, maybe you can make an old woman happy. Oh, oh, you. <laughs> As you're just walking out the door, it's like, oh, oh, you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> she's a sweet old lady, you know? She's. Anyways, or maybe she's like. <laughs> oh, God. Oh my god, uh, I'm sorry, That that's funny to me. <laughs> Just um, I don't really got anything else in okay. I think I'm pretty good. Carry on. Know, you, you've been done counting coins for like the last five minutes. Okay, I asked, so where's the closest enchantment shop? That would probably be over here. Uh, the, the shop is open. Uh, as you knock, you, you hear a, uh, a gruff, old, metallic-like voice, uh, says, Enter. You see him sitting in a rather high back chair in this uh, almost like lounge area. And, uh, excuse me for a second. <coughs> uh, in a. <coughs> fuck. In a lounge area, in a high back chair, you see this rather old elderly man uh, with uh, silver runes. Uh, pretty much everywhere that there is cloak, uh, he is very well hidden beneath this cloak, but he's there. Oh, fuck. God damn. Alright, I, I took off my hat and walked towards him. Okay. You see him, uh, with a flick of his wrist, see a uh, walking stick fly over to him. And he grabs it and stands out and says, What can I do you for? And as he's standing up, you can hear the bones creak and crowl just there. Uh, 
I see to enchant my garb with fire resistance and my boots of haste. I think that's haste. Yeah. Okay. This is normally. Sorry, let me do the accent. Normally, it's about the month to get everything because but he pulls out a pair of boots about your size with haste on them he says these would be about your size he, you see him as, as he hold as he's holding the boots that he doesn't have fingers but more of metallic um Claws holding these tiny boots out. Uh, I look at the boots with a sparkle in my eye, do my cute and kitten eyes again before I ask the price, hoping it gets cheaper. Uh, I need you to make your charisma bullshit. Cause he actually does like cats, so. He says, for you, and I like fuzzy things, it's for you, 125 gold. Okay. And as he says, put her as the uh, I wink at him and I ask. If you go any lower, sir, I am sure I'll be sure to come and visit you once I'm done. He's, he uh, he says uh, I'm already including the discount. Unless you would like it for free, and you become my apprentice. I'm sure I could use a hand. <laughs> it's a typing offer. Yeah.
learn a new skill and a pair of boots. Yeah. He's such a girl. Well, they're boots of haste. You know, quick wings would kill for a pair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame her. Mm. <laughs> I just think it's funny. <laughs> She's flirting to get what she wants. <laughs> no, that ain't flirting. That's straight up cat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a little bit more than just flirt behind her. <laughs> No, I I actually helped uh, create the the character and race, so I actually know it's a cat thing. <laughs> oh, I I'm not. Yeah, I just think it's fun. Yes, I enjoy it. I'm enjoying it. I think she's extremely helpful for persuasions. In fact, I don't even want a perf persuasion proficiency. I just want her to do it. If exactly. anything, I'd take an intimidation. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I I should probably do that. I think I can do that next time I level up, right? It allows us to change. Uh, or does it only do that at, like, level 5? Yeah, I think that you get yours at level 3 or 4. Well, I wish... I could yeah, it's not... 3. Because that's when, I, that's when I take my oath. Level mm -hmm. 3. Uh, I will be moving a lot, dear sir. I will be happy to learn a new skill from one as good and such as, as skilled as you. If I'm allowed, I will come back and help whenever I can. Oh, uh, I couldn't says, repeat. If you promise to come back, I'll drop the price to 100 gold. <laughs> She's such a negotiator. Okay, thank you, sir. I hope Miss I can give him a hundred gold and use both my hands uh, to receive the boots. And I try them on in front of him and say, "Hmm, they are de decent fits, and they look nice too. I am sure to treasure, Mister." Please, he says. Call me Majir. Yeah, good luck typing that one. Majir. Like Rastlin, Rastlin Majir. There's a name drop for you. Um... But he thanks you anyway. He says, I don't know about your cloak, though. I don't normally do fire resistance.
Uh, well, Miss Majeer, my name is Amy. My my name is Ariana, and I am sure to visit when I can. My my clone. Oh God! All right, hold on. Ooh, zoom in. Thank you. Right, that definitely says clone. My clone. I I will be fine for now. I presume with my new boots. But you have the time. I definitely will leave it here. Oh, clone. Oh, my clone is like, where'd you get a clone? Clone would be bad. Uh, that would be Hollywood playing with his laptop. Uh, heck, I haven't been here. Oh my god. Oh, long shot. Here we go. Um. Yeah, he, he takes his yeah. cloak, he, uh, as you laid in his claw-like hand, he snaps a finger, and it disappears. And he says, I shall be working on that later. And he says, now my child, it is time for my rest. As an enchanter, you know, it takes a lot out of a person. Yes. Uh, but a as you leave and you see him stand up and turn around and head out as you're leaving, you could tell that he is more, um, more mechanical than what you previously thought he was. <clears throat> uh, ju just by the way that he, uh, just by the way he walks is... Uh, not a even gait, but more of an uneven wobble. Uh, almost like a par uh, pirate with a peg leg type wobble. Um, sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> more more like a war forge than anything else. But yeah. Um look, uh, look him up, he's cool. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, I've seen Treasure Planet. Okay, you you go back to the potion shop and ask where the gnome go. Uh, you you see this elderly woman, you know, no nose barely above the counter, and lo look at you and says, "Yes, oh oh, uh, I I th I, th I th she's like I I think he went to the to the tavern. He a he asked about a tavern."
Okay. I could actually lie jaw to the Bristol Boar. And I prefer you fucking characters in, but oh well. Since uh I'm a Gundy is already here first. I yeah, main tag, thank you. Was already here first. Where would you like to be at in the tavern? <laughs> yeah. I I like to reuse icons so you can you know. Uh Okay. <coughs> And Ariana, as you enter the tavern and as you look around, you actually find it a little bit sparse in here uh, for being a small tavern. So. So I'm a grandi, what would you like to be doing since you had a head start here? Hello? Did you die on me? My bad, I was muted. Ah, okay. I would like to talk to this uh, knightly fellow mm -hmm. at the bar, and um, I would like to introduce myself as Orm Gundi, a, uh, a new knight to the Order of Paladins, and uh, would like to know his name. I would like to know his name. My name? My name? Why did you want me to know my name? I'm just a simple fighter. My name? Oh. <laughs> you, you can tell that he's like needy in these cups of mead here. Just oh, I see. He's like, my name? I can't remember my name. <laughs> I think it started by, uh, with a Yazur. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's... sure. I would say, uh, I'm gonna tell him that he bears a striking resemblance to someone who I know, and I'm going to buy him a round, and myself one too. But, uh, Ariana, do whatever she wants to. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, hold on, I actually have prices here, they actually put a good bar in. Uh, uh, it costs you three silver pieces, and if you drink it, you must make a DC-12 constitutional saving throw. Of course. Of Constitution saving throw. Chicken joining us uh, in the journey to kill the dragon with us and making fun of contact. Oh wow. Uh, there's my roll. Uh, that would be a d20 roll. You could actually click, uh, Christmas City, or, uh, Constitutional City. Oh, it's a d20? In your character sheet. Oh, yes. 
Do I just hit uh, Constitution then? Constitution, the same throw fast. Ah, uh, that's it. I knew I was missing something. Okay, that works. You're fine. You're you're like that's pretty good beer. Uh, pretty good mead. Nice. Uh, I look around and move move towards the elf. The elf nods at you and you know points to a chair at the table. I sit with him and ask I uh, I sit with him and ask him if he knows anything about the dragon that attacked the town. And it wished to join us and promise we'll split the gold. Um You should have said you should have just made him like a henchman or ten gold pieces a day. Uh, he. Then we could have just used him as fodder and have him die. <laughs> <laughs> the love for good paladin. <laughs> um, yeah, he actually said that the town <laughs> has been uh, under attack, uh, under several sieges by Carth Cathrax, um, who's who's actually uh, burnt the uh, one of the manors on top of the hill. Uh, quite severely. Um, although he, he looks at you and is like, but I, I don't see a problem with you being able to kill him without any difficulty. But he says, I know, sadly, I do not wish to join you uh, as I as I run and maintain my own shop here in town. Um, Is there anyone that you could recommend? Hmm. Uh. Not, he says, not off the top of my head. Currently, and most of our forces has been on guard duty. So, for sell swords and stuff, you may want to hit the docks, you may pick up a pirate or two, but that's about it. I don't want to team up with a pirate. Mostly I did for one adventure, and uh, yeah, that, that was a great character died in that module. 
Oh, well. Hmm. It's alright then. I suppose it isn't the worst thing. I see. Do you know that lady that's at that table? Uh. He, he whispers, uh, he says, Cassandra! Get your dro ass over here! <laughs> your dro ass. And she comes over and says, What do you want, you pickled fruit? to be nicer such a beautiful lady uh, being a lady myself I disapprove of his actions the gaze of disapproval see he's a surface off and she's a draw well eh. hey um can I detect evil on the draw I do believe it's part of your divine sense. So, yeah. Evil? Okay. And she is not evil. She is just. Can I detect evil on the other dude? Yeah, which one? Um, the other guy that Ariana is talking to. Oh, him? No, uh, uh yeah. But... You, you can, yes. but it's still going to come out as neutral. Okay. Uh, it says, Cassandra, this lady, which is to speak with you, he, he, just, he just looks back at Ariana and is like, I'm going to get another cup of mead and just walk back to the bar. <laughs> I look at her and apologize to her. Okay. She says, Oh, don't worry. Me, me and that surface dweller have been at odds for many years. It's all in good fun. But may I ask you if you know anything about this town and yourself? Why, why will such a lady like yourself be in a town like this during such times? Um, she she says this is this is the town of Foxdale. Um, You know, a small, humble town. Uh, there, there's good 
good drink, but I personally came to this town on a boat. Um, you know, small, small port, you know, figured, figure this would probably be cheapest as land to settle into, and I do also run a shop here. Although I do, at times, tend to get lost in my cups, but I do. Uh, as for being being in this town during such troubled times, well, I ain't leaving. She just looks over at his shoulder, and even with that pickled brain being here. Uh, I asked her if she could help us in any way she can. She says, don't, she says, don't drink the mead. Uh, Hagrid Stone, Stone Ward, uh, tends to cut his mead a little too sharply, if you know, if you know what I mean. And by this time, I'm on my second round of mead. Alright, I need you to make a <laughs> constitutional saving throw, please. Yes, I, I do mean oh, yes. that he dilutes them. Oh, 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 I'm getting ripped off. <laughs> no. Ooh, okay. I'm still- I'm a lightweight. It's all good. <laughs> You're as bad as drunk as yeah sure over there is like... Do you remember your yeah, name? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yes. You asked me my name, I'm gonna do the same. What's yours? <laughs> Bob. <laughs> <laughs> he he holds out a for you it'd be a large hand and says, "Nice to meet you, Bob." <laughs> he pulls out oh, si six silver pieces. Uh, so charmed. You you see uh, Hagrid, a dwarf, uh, pull. Out Two more, uh, two more meads, and set them in front of you. Uh, one, <laughs> one for yeah, sure, and then one for you. Since you bought last round, I buy third round. Hey. <laughs> okay, I go back to the counter as if there's anyone that help us in the dragon hunt and sniff around. This round, I, don't, I got even lower. I did Lucia. even worse. Oh god. He literally rolled it too. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so funny. I think so. I'm enjoying this. Hmm. Uh, as for the dragon hunt, and he says, you might want to try the docks. You, you see as this burly, uh, dwarf says. And, uh, in a whisper, he, uh... God, I don't know what the fuck he would actually roll for that. Uh, da 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 Um... Are you deducting my money? Go an insight check. Well, that's true. Um, 
because salute never. He says, add additional means. Yes. Put, he, he, he winks at you and says, it puts hair on your chest. Maybe it's for the best that uh, Ariana doesn't drink. <laughs> A hairy chested woman, that would be strange. Oh, wait, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Actually, I'm into it. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, uh, I asked him how much a barrel of rum cost, and asked which uh, dock will be the priest beyond. Um, he says, "Don't worry about the priest. The priest will be in here in about me." Pirate. She means pirate. Pirate. Um. Yeah. Um. Probably dock number three. You, you can probably get some friendly folk there. Um, he says though. Uh, he says for a bottle of rum. I tell you what, you do something for me, and I give you the barrel of rum. He, he says, uh, uh, he is a boisterous and approachable man who is happy to speak to anyone who pat patronizes his establishment. Uh, he will tell them about a swarm of rats that has been stealing some of his food and drink in the cellar and ask if he sees to take care of it. Wow, is that racist? Why? Why is, why does he have to give that mission to the to the one person that looks like an animal? Because they're rats. <laughs> it's racist. Wait, is she feline? Yeah, she's feline too. That's 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 funny. He says, well, I do something for you, I won't spill your secret. Says, no, nor normally a, a barrel of rum costs about 25 gold. And you're talking something that's about 5 gallons worth. Um, the threat is not going to be enough. Actually, actually roll me, uh, deception. Deception actually works in there rather well, actually. 
for your threat. Okay. <laughs> she wants money. He says, I'll do you one better if you keep my fucking secret shut. And he says, I will give you 20 gold. To go downstairs and kill the swarm of rats. And a, and a bottle. Oh, the barrel of rum. Yes. He... he, he Claps you on the shoulder and says, I lass, I can do that. Okay. Uh, he hands you a key. It is a rusted, rusted key. And he says, it... It is the basement through the kitchen. No, uh, the stairs through the kitchen. The other one. Yep, that one. Uh, before before you actually head over there. I'm a Grundy. I'm a Grundy. I would like you to make like a uh, perception check, but disadvantage to see the kind of shit that's been going on just on the other side of the bar counter. So you would have to roll twice. I know the feel. Trust me, I know the feel. Perception with disadvantage. She's up there. Okay. You were actually able to overhear the conversation, including the whispers that has been going on between uh, Hagrid and uh, Ariana about uh, clearing out the basement with uh, with the swarm of rats. to the door. Um, the door to the cellar is locked. Uh, you have the key that Hagrid gave you. Uh, you can attempt to unlock the door, but the key will snap, a, snap in the lock and fall out. Uh,
I sit the fucking down. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, by the way, that is Bridget's book. Uh, and I go back. Uh, he pulls out a spare key. Uh, from one of the, uh, from under the counter and says, Here, try this key. Snap key out with my claws and use new key. Um, just give me a flat dex check. Dex. Okay, yeah, you're able to uh, use your tiny claws and pull out the broken key and then insert the new one when it opens. Um, okay, I actually have four points. Okay, you're supposed to in there. As soon as you get down, all right. Uh, yeah, uh, as you start to play, um, okay. The swarm of rats. So they take eight damage. Uh, okay. You know, 10% out of a hundred and not a D10.
Hello? Yeah. MD 100, and you get a 9. Some, that falls under the 10%. I feel so sad. Why? I don't want to talk about it. Just keep going. You deal 44 points of damage. And both of them are dead. Nope, uh, that's both of them. Um, Kill both rats. Uh, beyond the primary larder, another small room, 10 by 10, which has a single uh, chest in the back of it, uh, which is there, uh, is currently set behind a uh, a large barrel. Um, as you look around. Uh, as you get near the, um, uh, get to the large barrel and look behind it, you can see that there's like a, a slide away door. Uh, I, I can just tell you your basic perception is going to be able to find it, that's what I'm telling you. Uh, you see like a basic door uh, that actually was like kind of hidden behind this large barrel. And you see uh, a small wooden door about three feet tall. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're able to slide it out with no problem. And uh, inside you see a, uh, uh, you see a single wooden chest in the back room. You check the chest, how are you checking it? Open it, or try to open it. Um, you see, uh, as you as you're touching it to open it, uh, you can tell that it's very sticky, and you are now grappled. She got all sticky. Ew, she got all sticky. Mm -hmm. 
you try to break from it, I need you to make a strength, uh, Strength athletic check. So pull yourself off. Wait, athletic. Yeah, athletic. Yeah, that one. Yep, strength. Succeed. You can after it takes the pit. Uh, it will then try to hit you with a pseudopod. Scandalous. Still doesn't hit. Yeah. But assuming that you <coughs> grappled and you used your hands, I assume that you stopped playing. I still don't think it would hit, so you can make your strength athletics check again. And I'm a Grundy. I would like you to make a perception roll to see where your comrade mm. is. Yes. Okay. Perception. I like that. I suck at the. Um, at which point it will try to beat on you one more time. A normal? Uh, yes, normal perception. Good. Let's see. Okay. Uh, yeah, you you actually notice that your compadron that literally set you back down in your seat, like <laughs> she's no longer here. Hmm. It's fine. I, uh, I was busy looking for a new mic anyways, but, um, okay, so, uh, I will, uh, figure that she's taking too long of a time, uh, dealing with the rats, so I'm gonna, uh, walk down there and, and figure out what's going on. 
just double check. Because I did see where she went, did I? Yeah. Okay, so, um, I'm in the the downstairs area, right? Yeah, Correct? give me a second. Okay, do that. so, yeah, yeah. Take a big whopping six points of damage, and there is you as you. Yeah. So I walk up here. Uh, what do I see? Dead rats and stuff. Dead rats. Uh, as you come down, uh, you see what. Possibly might be barrels moved out of the way, and definitely hear like. Mm. I'm you hearing say, a little meowing. Yeah, I... you could hear, hear a faint meowing. You could also hear the hand pipe, pen pipe going. Okay, I'm gonna uh, uh, walk in the direction. Okay. And see, uh, what's her name? I guess. Should I, do I need to roll initiative or something? You're probably going to, yes. Okay, cool. Oh boy. Uh, Cherry, you actually get a... Since I just now asked for initiative, you can go ahead and roll for another um, strength ath athletics check. Can I help her? Or do I have to wait for my turn? <laughs> Seems that cats don't always land on their feet. Um, as, as, uh, Orm Gundy walks in, he's just, like, making jokes and stuff. He's just laughing. <laughs> Need some help there? Uh, at this time with its uh, pseudopod, or, uh, yeah, pseudopod it is going to drag you and try to bite you. Um, at which point it will attempt to do so. Okay. Uh, on you, Ariana, since you are already stuck, you know, place an account for the your modifiers. Um, yeah, it's already taken account because they have a plus five to hit. So does the 16 hit? My AC. Mm -hmm. Allow me to check this. 18. Yeah. His is the main yes.
So does a 16 hit you, Ariana? is attacking you since you are ready are in its pseudopods grasp it will try to bite you No, because it's still the same song that's playing. It is 1d8 plus 3 plus uh, d8 per acid damage. <laughs> I like that. I got it. No, I don't think so. Hold on. It's actually no! it's actually I wasn't fast enough. Uh, 1d8. Oh my god, right. Is there anything I can do? Can I throw a lay hands on her? Yeah, of course, when it's my turn. Yep. Uh, total of 11 damage. So, you are currently... <laughs> Oh no. I can put her at zero. Okay, hold on. Because now it is her turn, and she gets to make a death saving throw. Make a death saving throw, please. And hopefully, roll above a 10. Okay, that is a save. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> oh boy. Grundy is your turn. Oh boy. You, you, oh. you, you see this like this black what, what cat? Am I, what am I? What? You, you see this black cat? in this mouth of a treasure chest just nomming away on it you see some oh my patches God. of fur like dissolved from the acid oh my god so um i probably can't turn it so uh let's What's it? Is it? Is, is that its hit points? 21? No, wait, that's not no. it. Um, oh man. I guess I should probably just go up and to attack it. Because, uh, if I threw my lay hands on Ariana, she's probably not going to be able to survive the next hit, anyways. She's still going to have to make a death throw. Right. Um,. Does she get a disadvantage on the death throw if I, if she's at zero HP? Nope. So it's still the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I uh, pull her out? You can. You would have to make a uh, strength of athletics strength? to. Yeah, strength of athletics have to check. check. Mm -hmm. oh, I should have had an athletics proficiency. Yeah, I thought it would be just a strength check, but um, 
Because it's not really like I'm trying to get out of something. I'm just pulling. It is just a brute strength thing. But, okay. I will make an athletics check. Or your other option is to start swinging at this chest that is eating your friend. Um... I don't really want to, uh, I don't know, should I, should we fight it? Has she done any damage to it? Nope. She hasn't. Mm -mm. Yeah, no, I want to, I want to save her. I'm trying to get her out of there. Um. Yeah, at the let's check. There it is. Okay, that is not the number I need. <laughs> Uh, I didn't get it either. God no. damn it. Man, I needed an athletics yeah. proficiency. That's too bad. That really hurts. I should have just whacked it. Yeah. You're pulling on like a three, three and a half foot cat out of like... Cat oh, she's coffin. two. She's yeah, short she's too. Small. Yeah. <laughs> We're both small people. This is so cool. This is lit. Okay, I gotta save this. <laughs> she's in a cat coffin. Okay. If I was you, I would stay right there. <laughs> yep. Yep. This is great, though. Um. What next? Reroll initiative, because mm. or d can I do another action? Um, from your point, um, you could always throw a javelin at it. <laughs> but I will say this though: if you miss, you're gonna hit Ariana anyway. <laughs> uh, can I? Uh, do you think the javelin is my best? weapon here right now yeah you don't want that mimic touching you okay all right yeah i'll throw the javelin i want to do something to it because if she dies then i have to deal with this thing myself um what do i do again here i go to okay yeah 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 uh uh, uh where's that javelin at javelin do I click it, or do I do a d20? Just click on it. It will prompt for a toggle advantage. Uh, you would okay. get advantage in this case, if it is within the range. That would be a hit. So go ahead and click on Javelin in the chat box, and it will do damage. Five piercing. Alright. Yeah, uh, you see it actually sticks out <laughs> of this box One where you threw it, so yeah. One problem at a time. Mm -hmm. I wonder how much health this damn thing has. You ain't gonna like it if I told you. Oh no! At which point, the Mimic will try to, um, take you further into its grasp as try as, as it was grappled, uh, well, as its toy was grappled, so, it'll tr uh, the Mimic is going to pull more on Ariana, more. Um, to make sure it has, has you, uh, so it will actually, uh, do a strength check against you. To see if it, if the Mimic can pull it out of Grundy's hand. No, the Mimic does. Okay. 
It doesn't matter. It's gonna fail anyway. Awesome. Uh, yeah. It, it tries. It, it, it tries to pull you uh, after you threw the javelin. You're like, yo, it's my kitty. You know, it's doing like this tug of war with it, with you and the cat. It's my kitty. Yeah. Uh, at which point <laughs> is Ariana's turn. You need to make another death saving throw, please. No! You rolled a natural 20! Yes. Fun. Congratulations. You are up with one hit point. You are still in the grasp of the uh, Mimic. I swung my hammer. Uh, <laughs> technically, the death saving throws come at the end of your turn. But the first thing you said to her was make your death saving throw. Yeah. Because she can't do anything when she's unconscious. Hmm. Oh, I see. Then even I could even show you in the handbook death saving throws, but it, you know. Maybe I should have thrown the uh, lay hands on her. Maybe that would have done something. Well, literally, it's your turn, so. Yeah. Well, well, it doesn't matter anyways. Um, I is a uh, lay hands a uh, bonus action? Yes, it is. Then I'm going... ooh... okay. I think what I'd rather do is try and get her out of the box. And if I can't get her out of the box, then I want to lay hands on her. Unless she thinks I should keep attacking it. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try and... Your lay hands... Uh, your blessed touch can heal wounds. You have full healing power that replenishes when you take a long rest. With that pool, you could store a total number of hit points equal to your paladin level times five. As an action, you can touch a creature and draw power from the pool and restore a number of hit points to that creature up to a maximum amount remaining in your pool. Terminally, you can expend five hit points of your pool. Uh, to cure the target of one disease or neutralize one poison affecting it. Uh, you can cure multiple diseases and neutralize multiple poisons with a single use of lay on hands, uh, expending hit points separately for each one. I don't it's need a roll it, I get five. It's, uh, it's five times your level, so I get a... I'm, I'm throwing five on you. I got five on it. Okay, so it is an action, so... Oh, um, well, before I do that, uh, I wanna try and get her out of that fucking box. Uh, you would have 6 HP. Uh, and you can do both in that order, you know, lay on hands and then you just pull on her. Yeah, yeah, cause it's all the same. Yeah, it'll be like the same action. Yeah. Yep, get, I'm gonna put her at 6. And, um... And I'll do the athletics check. That is the uh, above the number I need. Uh, yes. Yeah. Out. Ariana. Let's kill this. You are now free from the pseudo pods of 
stickiness that is a mimic. that you're literally rubbing your mic against a burly chin. Me? Yes. Why when I do this? Yeah, well, it ain't you know what noise. I'm doing? <laughs> Wait, you said my voice? Noise. The noise. It sounded like someone was taking a microphone right to like a scruffy uh, beard and all of that. Sandpaper noise? Yeah. Uh, Honestly, you know what I'm doing? I'm just shaking a lot right now. Okay. Uh, it is now the Mimic's turn. I need a fucking smoke. Okay. Uh, it will move forward one square and then try to grapple um, Grundy. Uh, since this yeah. I hope he. Sh I hope she can do damage. <laughs> Cause now it's on me. All right. Tons of I trust you. Um, Thank. Since the first song had ended when you went unconscious. And you can't play song number one until it's your turn. Yeah. Uh, I get my full attack. Cool. And this is going on Grundy. Yeah, why don't it do? Just call me Hulkman. Yes. Um, right in, we do a slash, or Grundy, Funky, plus five. Thank you. I know that hits you. Um, oh my god. You are now grappled. Turn Ariana. Okay, Pepper Melody uh, allies gain advantage on attack rolls, enemies gain disadvantage on attack rolls, uh, controlled medley. To create a difficult terrain, your allies can traverse and pitch. Um, create a mist. Increase an attack spells to hit by D6. Okay. So, all that did was give your ally a, a attack and disadvantage. Flat 22. Alright. Thank you. It is. Still alive. No, still alive. No. <laughs> she backs up a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> or Magrundi, it is now your turn. What can I do? Can I attack? Can I- or if I try and get out, does that take away my ability to, to attack? I'm gonna say no. Awesome. Okay then, so I'm going to attempt an escape. First. Okay, 
Okay, you have just, uh, yeah, just normal, sorry, to clean everything. That is not the number I need, you're still grappled. Mm-hmm, okay. Now, uh, I'm gonna use my, uh... Two. Uh, <laughs> Literally, so he has a CR of two. My longsword? Uh, go ahead. Okay, that hits. Go ahead and click uh, longsword for damage. That's five damage. All right. I. Uh... Oh my bad. So good. Um. It, you can tell that it is now bloodied, and yeah. Is it dead? No. Ah, this in bastard. The, in the realm of uh, fifth edition D and D, bloodied means uh. Red. No, it is. Uh, when a creature is bloodied more than uh, half health or more. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. How much damage would did we just do to it? Five? Uh it was ten. I'll take your ten. Okay. That was a little bit better. <laughs> okay. It's fine. It's still fine. He hasn't done damage on me yet, has he? Not yet. Okay. Um Okay, I'm done. Okay. Uh it is now the mimic's turn and it is going to bite you. Fun. With disadvantage. So, slide drag and out. This is going to be. Oh. 20. It fails! I ain't even gonna roll the other one, it just fails. <laughs> yeah! So, uh. I kind of like stand up straight with it, like, right above me, and I'm like, this is what gave you trouble? <laughs> Ariana, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So, uh, is it my turn? Uh, my it's bad. Ariana's turn. Okay, cool. No! Oh man, that's so lame. Tobacco everywhere. Ooh. What a world. Uh, I fly two notes. Yes, you can. I'll tell you right now, flat damage is still gonna do flat damage, it's still kill us, so. Okay. 
half damage. Okay. It is really bloodied at this point. Yes, and the mimic is now exhausted. It is extremely bloody. I do believe that ends your turn, correct? I'm a Grundy! Mm hmm. Your turn. Alright, my bad. Let's do this. Let's get out of this. Mr. Gr Mr. Goondy. Mm-hmm. Strength strike. Let's do this. That's not the number I need. Ah. Uh, well. Attack with that long sword. Good. You do double damage because your ally buffed you. That does not hit. Oh, it doesn't hit? Damn. No. Uh, do, did it automatically get my modifiers? Mm -hmm. Did it? Yeah, that was, damn. Yep, Rip. you rolled a 4, plus your 3, plus your 2. So. So, what would you like to do now? You can't do much. You took your action, took your bonus action, um, you can't move. Yes, uh, end turn. Okay. It's not much I can do, unfortunately. The Mimic will try to bite you now with disadvantage, because it is exhausted. First one, and I ain't gonna hit, and that one does not hit either. Okay, Ariana. Your flat damage will kill it. Oh, finally. But the problem is, though, you still need to escape. Is uh, mm, it's more of a glue type pseudopod. So he basically he's no longer grappled, but you still have a sticky. Thing on me. A sticky pseudopod stuck to you. I see. Okay. So, uh, yeah, how are we gonna remove this thing? Should we start? <laughs> can, can, how lo how many initiatives or rounds would it take for me to get to the church from here? Mm, not long, because you're out of combat now. So with this glue as it's attacking me, should we just like literally just leave and find the local priest ba to ba basically do this all thing? it would take is just a strength a strength athletics just to remove it all from you. Oh. That's all okay. Uh, can you do this? What was that? Can I do this now? Yeah. Okay. The DC is three, so you can't fucking fuck it up. Okay, good. Good, let's see here. Athletics, there we go. Good, you did it. You are no longer stuck by pseudopod. Ugh! 
kill the damn thing. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm, I won't be long. Okay. Find two potions of healing and 50 gold pieces. Okay. Potion of healing and 50 gold pieces. Two potions. Um, I'm gonna, uh, let her have both the healing potions and the gold. Would you like it? Okay, the uh, letter does one D eight acid damage. Three, uh, five thirty-one. Yes. By the way, uh, Amal Grundy, you are very much sober now. <laughs> Damn. Um, so, uh, what, what do I see in the room right now? Uh, you just see a small wooden box and a metal crate. Mmm, okay. I inspect the wooden crate. Is there a way, is there anything on it? Is there a way to open it? Ariana's currently on it. Oh, sorry, I meant the, the steel, the, the steel thing at the bottom. Okay, as you look at it, um, it is currently locked, just by looking at it, you see a mm. small padlock and uh, keeping it clasped. Uh, other than that, you don't see any markings. But you won't? Nope. Okay. Um... <laughs> I'm like... I don't need your lockpick anyway. I bet I could break this baby open. Okay. Alright, so how do I do that? Strength? Mm-hmm. Strength check. Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. <laughs> Sadly, no. Um, as you try to pull on the lock, it does not budge whatsoever. You're like, it won't open. What about that other chest? That, uh, uh that... Yeah, uh, as you look at the wooden chest, it, it just seems to be a plain wooden chest. With a few markings on it. She's, like, standing on top of it for no reason. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, can, can I, uh, please... 
try and open this. Please. I mean, you can pee on it if you want, but I'd prefer, uh, if you did that, like, after I opened it. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go over into the other room. <laughs> what do I see in this room exactly? Uh, what, what, what's this thing? Is this a bed? Um, uh, no. No? Okay. Well, if there's nothing of any real interest, uh, I, I'm actually kind of considering going to buy a crowbar. Okay. Alright. How much is a crowbar? You could probably pick one up for about two to five gold. Okay. Okay. Oh hey, she's uh she's back. Welcome back. Four gold. But um <laughs> Yes. May I uh please uh check out that chest thing? And then I'm gonna retry and crowbar that other steel chest. And if it doesn't work then forget it. Okay. That would be two strengths. Two strength checks. Do I get advantage? For what? Uh, because I have the crowbar on my strength checks. Okay. We... Um, it, yeah, it would be advantage. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, put that crowbar in my inventory real quick. Hold yeah. On. Okay, and, uh, two strength checks at advantage. Okay. So that's the, that's the steel box one, and this is the wooden one. Okay. Uh, you are actually able to break open the padlock that is on the metal crate. And, uh, nice, nice. Ah, oh, yes, yes, it's straight to pose. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, you broke padlock. What are you gonna do now? Oh, uh, open, open the chest, and uh, well, no, I'm just gonna stretch and then leave, or you know, pose and then leave. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, sure. I'll, I mean, I'll check and see what's in it, but I don't think I'm gonna take anything that's in there. Okay. As you open the lid, you just see mason jars full of bacon grease. Uh, gross. Um, not gonna take any of that. Well, ooh, bacon grease? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take- I'm gonna take one thing of it. I'm gonna take one jar. And since Aria, Ariana is not here to see you pilfering. <laughs> uh, it's just one jar. It's like when you go upstairs, just put a, just put a, a uh, gold it's coin on the counter and it's like, deed is done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, you, you get a pint jar full of bacon juice. Oh, uh, what's in the other thing? Uh, it is... The 12 is not enough to break open this wooden... Uh... Eh. Chest. I leave. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, I only got like half an hour. I know, that's why I plan on wrapping this out. 
Hmm. Well, um, yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm satisfied. Yeah, he he still has to go to work. <laughs> yeah, I got I go to work. I I work night shifts. Mm-hmm. I wish. Well. Yeah. Um. Oh, we need to go to the church. What's happening at the church? No, okay. We can probably Maybe wrap that up. Call in and it's... Reasons. Wait, what? Yeah. The priest has part of the storyline, so... Oh, no. We're... Okay, then. Um... Yeah, I think we're just about done here. Um... As you talk to uh, Hagrid, the the barkeep dwarf, uh, he will actually thank you uh, for getting the swarm of rats. In the uh, on the counter, there is a barrel of of rum sitting on the counter. <laughs> Yes, I was about to say, I assume he's talking, the barkeep is talking to, uh, Arion. Yes. As she did beat I'm you still... upstairs. What's up, hey, yeah? What I like to hear. Uh, I put a note on it and asked if he could send it down to the dock to the pirate. Okay. Um, uh, he calls over to Sandra, and Cassandra wanders over there. Yeah, he, he talks to her for a few moments, and she takes the casket. Down to the dock. At which point, uh, all of you actually see a priest sitting. Uh, the note says, "Word to me and the details of the dragon hunt, and told them." It will be paid in gold to share it equally. Alright. Um. Oh. Uh, I don't care about <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. Uh, at which point, uh, you guys actually see a fellow at the bar that you have not seen there before. Uh, you, you can tell that he's dressed like, yeah. Uh, you can tell that he's dressed more of an nice priestly robes with a uh, bow across his back. Uh, he, he's actually uh, telling a story. Uh, he says, My name is Cecil, the town priest. And he starts telling a story about uh, the tale of a knight who fell in love with a pixie, and he left his enchanted sword uh, to her after he perished. He said the sword will reside on an island in the middle of the lake of the Emerald Forest, and if I and tells you that you should fetch it before traveling to the Black Mountains to take on uh, Karstak. Uh, I thank him for the information, and I, oh, what does she say? I do not use swords, so I will go talk to the lizard folk. 
Okay. Um, I thank him and I tell him that I'd like to make a donation to the church for, uh... I'm just gonna put my gold pieces to 200 and have that be that. Okay. Because I don't know how much I've spent on, like, the crowbar and stuff like that. I haven't been keeping track, so it's probably, like, around 200, a little bit less than 200 gold pieces. Okay. So I'm gonna, uh, make a donation. Okay. He glad you, gladly takes out a donation, uh, takes your donation, pull, pulls out a gold piece, lays it on the counter, and says, Bark it! And barkeep comes cool. over cool. and yeah, I'll let him. I'm not gonna pay for his drink. I already gave him a shit ton of money. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, he probably took. He probably already took one of those gold pieces out of the pile that I just gave him. That's exactly what so. He was uh, doing. yeah, I'm I'm pretty much done. Okay. With that conversation, you can transition to whatever uh is going on with with uh, Adriana. Yes. Uh, Adriana, as you pick up this conversation with uh, the lizard folk there, uh, it is more of uh, the lizard folk seems to uh, be a little bit distant in the conversation. It is more of trying to get drunk than anything else. And then uh, as you realize that, you know, the li lizard folks trying to get drunk, and it, it, every time it takes a sip, it just keeps, you know, smacking its lips. And this meat tastes weird. And it looks at you and says, Do you know anything about it? I shake my head and say, no, nope. <laughs> she totally should have the ass on another. <laughs> that would be so bogus. I promise this. Yes, yes, yes. Um, <laughs> so honorable. <laughs> you should be the paladin. <laughs> uh... You see the lizard folk just keep smacking its lips and the little forked tongue shows out every now and then. It's like, I know I've tasted that before. You know, it's like, I know I've tasted that before. <laughs> she, is, she, she just finally turns up the rest of her cup. Makes her uh, DC chest. This whole time, a Ariana's just staring blankly. <laughs> what? Yeah, she finishes. She's like, I know, I know that taste. She just pours the rest of the uh, rest of the mead down her throat, and uh, as she tries to figure out what that taste is. And she fails, and she's like, I, 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 I know, I, 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 I know what that is. Very slurredly. It's, it's rat poison. <gasps> <laughs> uh, you can tell by the robes it's more of a sorceress than anything else. <laughs> no, she, she's not dead.
I, I mutter on with her and I ask if she would like to join us on the dragon hunt. She's like, I, 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 I'm... It'll be beer. She is, she's like, I... I persuade her. <laughs> Tony Chan, no! <laughs> Alright, go ahead and roll your persuasion. Hilarious. Oh wow. She's like... If, if I'm here in the morning... Yeah... Okay. And you just see her uh, as she's just muttering it. She lays her head down on the table and is like, I'm here in the morning. I, uh, I uh, ask the bartender uh, what he knows about that particular patron my uh, companion is talking to. The, bar, the, the dwarven bartender says, I, I really don't I write some, I write some a contract and take her head, hands and put some ink on it, and help her sign her hand ink to the contract. Oh, geez. I need a dexterity. Wow. Thing. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that devious! So, so I'm so glad. impressed right now. I am so glad the paladins talk to the bartender right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Um, the, bar Perfect, the bartender man. says, I, I really don't know anything about her. She, she's only been here for a night and... Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> she, you know, she always only been here for the night. I think she came in with the ships. Okay. That's all. Okay. He, he looks to you, so another cup of mead? Uh, can I roll a check to see if that I, uh, like a perception check to see if I heard what they were saying? In the table over there. Sure. Uh, that would be a uh, pre yeah. Perception check. Hmm. Yeah, you, you you just see Ariana with a quill and some ink, uh, helping this uh, lizard folk sign some paper to your to your general view. Hmm. No, no, I'm not trying to pay too mo too close attention to them. <laughs> um. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. If I didn't hear what they were talking about before, I would order another drink. Okay. 199. He, he, uh, the bartender sets three drinks in front of you and leaves you with a silver piece. Sweet. Well, that's what I did. At which point, the bard on stage, uh, picks up his, uh, loot and starts... Uh, he gives you 20. Uh, the bard on stage actually starts, uh, picking up a, uh, song on his lute. And you, you could tell that Gibbida the bard is actually enjoying it. It's just some, you know, 
Matter, matter of fact, it's cat, uh, cats in the cradle. You know, cats in the cradle with the silver spoon. No boy blue and the man in the moon. Put Ariana in a cradle. <laughs> Put him in a crate. Oh jeez, I go to the barkeep and ask him if he could sign uh, his paperwork as witness. No. <laughs> oh wow. Should ask. <laughs> he should ask me to sign it because I saw it. Oh jeez. No, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Go ahead and roll deception. Because you're doing this with evil intent, it would be deception. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, a 19. Yeah, he, he just looks it over and says, I know what you're doing there, I don't agree with it, but you catch my comments, so I will keep yours. And he screams. <laughs> oh, oh, that is so sweet! <laughs> Partners, she gives a little wink. <laughs> and you just see him uh, take the quill and scribble a name. It is not his own name, but is a name. That is awesome. Yeah, and he whispers back. Yeah, and you take this to anywhere else, and it ain't gonna look right with the innkeeper's name on it. And as you look, it just reads Seymour Buttkiss. <laughs> Buttkiss? <laughs> That's the best he could come up with. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> okay, I won't. Uh, I, won't I won't go there. Well, it is just a witness. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That'll hold up in court. <laughs> it was just a witness. It, exactly. Um. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Uh, at, wh <laughs> at which point the the barten bartender uh, uh, lo looks up at a uh, small enchanted clock on the wall. And it says, last call in 15 minutes. Those of y'all who drug 20 silver pieces a night. Hmm, so what are we gonna do? Are we gonna go to sleep, uh, and wrap this whole thing up? Yeah, pretty Or, much. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Cause I'm, giving, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm well, giving you a natural breaking point in the storyline, especially going to sleep. Yes, uh, can I go ask him to Yeah, I was just about to say, I... If they got multiple rooms at the end, I will insist uh, that she gets her own room. Yeah, but, there's um, more rooms upstairs. It's just I didn't pull out that map. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But she can stay with the mayor or whatever. Uh, the mayor's uh, the mayor's How much is office a room? is twenty silver pieces. And uh. 
the, may it's the what, mayor's probably what, gone to better at it, though. What did you just say? I said the mayor probably already went to bed, so... Pounding on her door. <laughs> go go to the run train run to the like the general store real quick and buy a lock <laughs> oh wow I could always go stay with the old man well he does like cats <laughs> Scandalous. He might, he might not, who knows. you to make a percentile roll which is a d100 and if it's under 25 percent he's still up anything other than that he's sleeping hey guess what he's awake roll He's thrifty. All right. Um, you guys, uh, yeah, you, you end up staying the night and he ends up staying up for an extra four hours. Uh, just talking with you, regaling some of the older stories, um, some of the older war stories, and uh, as you guys talk, it's just like, it, he, he has a very metallic voice, so it's kind of, I want soul a man, get a fireball up his ass. Can you tell me stories after the section ends? Yes. Um, but for Amagrandi, it's gonna be silver, uh, 20 silver pieces to spend the night. How much is that translated to gold? Uh, like... 10 silver pieces. Oh, cool. Two gold, gold pieces? pieces? Yeah, I can, I can do that. <laughs> or, or you could stay with the old lady or the church. Oh, I could stay with the old lady. Oh, I want to stay with the old lady. Roll D100. Anything under 25, uh, anything over 25%, she's asleep. Oh, she's asleep. She's asleep. Sorry. The worst part is, should, should have been, she would have opened the door, grabbed you, kissed you, and drug you upstairs. <laughs> My kind of lady. <laughs> yeah, the church is. Let's see if I can make this check and stay with Mr. Priest Man. Nope. Oh, he's standing right there, you know, hell, you just ask him. Oh, he's still, oh, he's still at the bar? Oh, yeah, hey, oh, so, um, I was wondering, I'm a little bit, <coughs> uh, strapped, no, I shouldn't lie, I shouldn't lie. Um, no. <laughs> I was, uh, 
I was wondering if you could allow me to spend the night in uh, the church somewhere, perhaps, um, Mr. Preacher Man. Cecil, not Cecil. Uh, yeah, Cecil. Cecil. Yeah. Yeah. Right, double check. Cecil. Name. No, uh, I'll buy another round too. I'll buy more drinks. Um. <laughs> I hope to commune with the gods. I wish to keep vigil over the temple. He looks at you and says, We have much to talk about, small one. Yes, yes we do, yes we do. He says, You know, before I came to talk to you, I went to the potion lady, and I'm telling you, I got a feeling she's got a thing for me. She might. <laughs> you, you, you see the priest pull out 15 gold, lays it on the counter, and uh, hollers for the barkeep, and the barkeep just comes over with a very expensive bottle of uh, hard liquor and says, Come, come, small one. We must spend the night at the church as we get drunk and wasted and tell, tell stories. Yes! Oh, uh, that's that's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like that. Uh, at which point we will end. It's too holy men hanging out. Yeah. At which point <laughs> we will end here, and we will pick this up next Saturday, 7 p.m. Awesome. <sighs>